Hey, what's up? It's Boss. Uh, kicking off a new grow series today that is something a little special I've been trying to do for a while. So uh, this series is going to be called They Came From Outer Space. Uh, so the reason is, um, oh, that's a that's a pepper growing odyssey, by the way. <laughs> um, started this journey like many months ago, almost a year ago, really. I thought it'd be cool to try and grow all 10 varieties of the Hangzhou space peppers. Um, so if you've not heard of these things before, essentially um, China for years has been sending seeds to outer space uh, to see what zero gravity and microgravity does to the genetics, see if they can maybe somehow get seeds that were mutated to have bigger yields, bigger fruits, um, and produce more food, right? So that's kind of the the mythology, if you will, of these Hangzhou peppers. There's 10 varieties. Uh, let's see, there's uh, number one, the Corona, number two, the Meteor, uh, number three, Solar Flare, number four, Comet's Tail, number five is Helix Nebula, six is Nebula, six is Pulsar, uh, seven is Supernova, eight is Total Eclipse, nine is Big Bang, and uh, ten is Afterglow, right? So we've got these ten different types of peppers. Um, I've grown a few of them before, but right now I'm trying to grow all ten. Finding seeds for all ten was very difficult. Um, I found actually nine of the ten types fairly easily. Hangzhou number two has been elusive until recently. Uh, some of my friends in the pepper lovers community helped me out and chased down any leads they could find, as I had been doing for months, and finally scored some seeds for Hangzhou number two, which was the Meteor. So I've got those coming to me very soon, um, but I already have the other nine types growing. So I want to show you what I got going here. This is the first episode. Um, I'm actually two months since I have planted these seeds, and they're coming along really nicely. So let's take a look at what we've been doing. All right, so I started these seeds, um, just in little peat pods, on October 14th, right? Um, I had a few other things in this tray, so this isn't all hung jazz, but that's all we're going to care about, right? So normal seed starting, put them on a heat mat, uh, put the dome on, waited for them to sprout, and they took anywhere from three days to about 10 days to start sprouting. I had trouble getting numbers two, four, and eight. No, I'm sorry, four, six, and eight to sprout. Um, but you can see here some of these sprouts are going pretty well. Um, they grew fast. I put them in little three-inch cups um, or pots, if you will, I guess. And very quickly, I needed to go to bigger sizes. They're growing in uh, cocoa coir and perlite. There's no soil here. So I'm feeding them hydroponic nutrients every day. Uh, pretty quickly, though, you can see they were growing fast, right? Not wasting any time. Um, so I knew I was going to have to get some more pots um, and figure out how I was going to set up my tent this winter. I'm kind of trying some new things, right, with the uh, cocoa and the perlite already. And really all I'm doing is doing about a 75% cocoa coir to 25% perlite, mixing that up, um, getting it good and rinsed. Uh, I kind of pre-buffer it a little bit with the cow meg just so that it's it's not going to be deficient there or cause deficiencies, I should say. And then they get hydroponic nutrients. So, uh, you know, at this stage, I'm feeding them the grow formula. But very quickly, once the plants got big enough to be transplanted and had several sets of leaves, because I'm growing these specifically to get pods, specifically to get seeds, I want them to fruit fast. I want them to fruit early. Um, so what I'm actually going to do here is start switching them to the bloom formula earlier than I normally would if I was trying to grow big, giant, bushy plants. So you can see they look pretty happy right here. This is mostly the odd numbers. Again, uh, four, six, and eight were giving me trouble at this point, so I had to start some more seeds. That's actually what's in those clear plastic containers you can almost see. Um, the roots got really tied up in those little pots, so they went to the big pots, right? Once I got these in the big pots, they took off. Um, so this is, you know, I mean, a few days apart, you're starting to see this growth happen. It's unbelievable. Um, I had one that I started in a Kratky mason jar at the same time. It stayed smaller, but it flowered faster. Thought that was interesting. Um, at this size, I'd already switched all of these plants over to bloom. So these guys are now getting bloom nutrients to support the flowering and eventually fruiting that I want to happen sooner rather than later, right? Um, so in the back, you've got a, a 9 and a 10, some 7s in the middle, 5s, uh, number 1 up front. These plants thrive in the cocoa perlite. Really excited about this experiment this year. I've never done my hydro this way, but so far, so good. 
Um, started to get a little pepper on the number nine that is in a cracky mason jar. Um, and I just kind of want to show you how quickly this little pepper started to grow. So this plant, um, you can see the size of these guys. We're starting to have some 12 inch and bigger plants uh, in the cocoa peat. I'm sorry, in the cocoa coir. Um, but the one in the jar didn't get big. It just fruited right away. I uh, got some HJ3s to add to the mix. And you can see here's where the tent was looking after almost two months. Um, flowers starting to show up on several of the big guys, right? That's awesome. That's exactly what I want to see. You can see there's some pollen that's fallen off from my tapping it. What I want is flowers and fruit, and I want it fast. So I will check back soon. But you can see here's this uh, little pepper going again. He's getting big, right? This is a couple days apart. Uh, we'll have a lot more updates coming soon. I want to make sure that we... Keep an eye on how these things grow. And before too long, I want to be able to say we've got them all. All right, so that's it for this first episode of They Came from Outer Space. Um, I'm really excited about this grow. I can't wait to get the number two started so that we can have all 10 types growing. And my real hope is that by the time this experiment is done, I have learned the ins and outs of growing indoors with cocoa and hydroponic nutrients, of course. And I've also got seed packs of all 10 types of the Hangzhou space peppers that I can share with my friends in the pepper lovers community because it's an awesome place to hang out. So if you haven't ever checked it out, hit up Reddit, hit up Facebook, hit up Discord if you want to hang out and talk to this guy. That's where I hang out. Uh, pepper lovers community. It's cool stuff. You'll meet some awesome people who love growing peppers. They love eating peppers, cooking with peppers. Uh, they'll help you solve some of your problems, right? Cool place to check it out. So hit up the pepper lovers community. Discord, yeah. Facebook, Reddit. Yeah, Reddit's pretty cool. But yeah, check us out. Um, be back soon with the next update on these crazy peppers from outer space. Peace.